and welcome to the video looking at dye hybrid inheritance. Um, when we're talking about dye hybrid in inheritance, um, we're talking about the simultaneous inheritance of two different characteristics. Um, and what we're going to be looking at here is the example that Mendel used when he was examining the inheritance of seed shape and seed colour in pea plants. Um, so we know that we represent dominant alleles in capital letters and recessive ones in lowercase. Um, so what Mendel said was that we had in the parents we had yellow yellow and round were the dominant characteristics and green and wrinkled were the recessive ones um so if something was we he was using pure breed um plants so that means that they are homozygous so we knew that i'm going to use a red pen to represent the yellows so it was a yellow round pure breed so it was dominant so we've got capital y capital y capital r capital r the r's a uh, homozygous dominant for it to be round so it was a round one and the capital y's dominant homozygous for yellow so it was yellow and round the green ones however i use a green pen for this were recessive they were showing recessive traits so we had recessive homozygous y for lowercase y for the green characteristic and homozygous recessive r for wrinkled and they're the parents genotypes here um and then what we have to do once we've got these, because we can only have two alleles in these gametes that we're going to be putting in the point square. But we know that there's only one possibility for this. So for this one here, we've got, we need to have one Y and one R. So one from each characteristic. So we're going to have to have capital Y, capital R in the gametes for this one and then for the for this one here we know that it's there'd be no other option that it's little y little r and if these two were crossed then we would get a heterozygous um first generation um thing so it would there offspring would be they would all be capital Y lowercase y capital R lowercase r and they would all be yellow and round because they're heterozygous they're showing at least one dominant trait so they're going to show that phenotype and what we're going to do now then is cross these first generation offspring together and this is their genotype and we know unlike this where we only had one possible gamete um, here we've got four different ones we could have capital Y capital R but we could also have capital Y lowercase r we could have lowercase y, capital R, or we could have lowercase y, lowercase r. They're the, the only four possibilities for the gametes. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these into the Punnett square. So we've got capital Y, capital R capital Y, lowercase r, 
lowercase y, capital R, and lowercase y, and lowercase r. And that's the same um, for the other individual. And then we're going to be um, crossing these to find out what their genotype is in the second generation. So in here it would be Y, Y, R, R, which would be homozygous dominant. So we know that they are going to be yellow and round. We're going to pretend the red pen's yellow because I haven't got a yellow pen. Um, so this is going to be yellow because we've got homozygous dominant for yellow. And this is heterozygous for the round characteristic. So it is, again, it's going to be yellow and round, but it's just showing it a different genotype for that characteristic. Here, again, it's going to be yellow and round. Um, here we have the same thing. Yellow and round. And if this was in an exam and they wanted to show the genotypes, you can just draw it in this Punnett square um, and annotate it. And here we have a homozygous um, dominant for the yellow trait. So it's going to be yellow. However, we've got um, recessive homozygous for the wrinkle trait. So it's going to be yellow and wrinkled. Right. And what you can do from this, which I will show in a minute, is that you can find the ratios, which is what Mendel did. So here again, it's going to be yellow, but it's going to be wrinkled. I'm just going to be yellow and round. So you can see already that the majority are yellow and round. Here, however, we have got homozygous recessive. Um, so this is going to be green and round. And this is going to be the same for this one. It's going to be round because we have got one dominant um, allele. So it's going to be green and it's going to be round. Here we've got a heterozygous. So it's going to be yellow and round. Here we have, it's going to be yellow, but it's going to be wrinkled. Here we've got homozygous recessive for the colour, so we know it's going to be green, but it's going to be round because we've got heterozygous for the round. And here we've got all recessive alleles so we know that's going to be green and wrinkled that's showing both recessive traits so here then what we can see is how Mendel's um, ratio has been formed we can see that we've got nine of these traits one two three four five six seven eight nine nine showing yellow and round three showing red, uh, yellow and wrinkled, three showing green and round, so they're showing one dominant trait and one recessive trait, but there's only one here showing both recessive traits. So that's how this nine to three to three to one ratio is established. 
and this um, die hybrid inheritance it's the same for any um, two characteristics that are inherited together um, but yeah that's everything for this thank you for watching